Hey guys, we're going this way. Anything to say to your family? Yeah, guys, always one side. You don't know what's going on. Back up, guys. Back up. Please don't push me. I'm not. I'm moving you this way. No, I'm not. Any messages for the family? You sorry? They want to know why. Why did you do that? Right? You sorry? Did you do it? Why did you do it? Did you know she was pregnant? Nothing to say? Huh? You didn't care? Why was it the whole family? Close to Christmas? Remorse? Anything? Why, man? Any remorse? You sorry? Ain't you sorry for lying about what you're saying? You only know what's going on. Well, tell you us. You just made stuff up like always. Well, tell us. What's going on? Did you shoot them? Did you shoot them? Are you in the video? Baby? Did you kill them or did you just hide the evidence? Que mato a Savannah? How do you know Savannah? Who's going to kill them? For the retaliation? You're sorry? Who killed them? If it wasn't you, who was it then? So let's try to say something. This is the last opportunity for you. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. Closing door. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Are you good? You sorry? Good evening, everyone. I'm Sergeant Washington Moscoso, W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N, M-O-S-C-O-S-O. -S -S so the individuals you saw this evening, the first individual's name is Ramon Preciado, 53 years old, SID number 443-651. The second individual was Christopher Preciado, 19 years old, SID number 1191061. So the two individuals we, uh, we just walked out today, again, is a father and son. The first individual is a father, the second individual is a son. Uh, they're going to be charged, the, the father's, uh, I'm sorry, the son's going to be charged this, this, after, this evening with capital murder, and the father's going to be charged with abuse of the corpse. We do expect uh, more charges to be uh, to be pending. So I'm not going to go into the whole thing. We, we all know uh, what kind of led us to, this, to, to where we are today. Uh, I will say that when we recover, or when, when uh, the bodies were discovered on Danny K, uh, obviously the investigation began. SAPD detectives made that location and started collecting evidence. Um, one of the key pieces of evidence that we did collect at the scene was uh, Savannah's cell phone. And uh, so our, that was given, handed over to our, tech, our technology team 
who was able to do the downloads of information on there. With the assistance of the U.S. Secret Service, we were able to get enough information. Um, and so that, that information was given to our detectives today. With that information, the detective, uh, detectives were able to uh, find a possible location of where the, the suspect vehicle that was released on that, on that surveillance camera, the surveillance video, a uh, possible location where that suspect vehicle might be. They made that location, and sure enough, the vehicle was there. They did a little bit of surveillance on the video, or on the on the uh, vehicle, and then um, were able to determine which house it belonged to. They went up, knocked on the door. Uh, the fir the first gentleman, the, the I'm sorry, the, the first individual, uh, the father answered the door. He knew why the police were there. Um, was was cooperated fully with the investigation. And we're right here to headquarters, and our detectives were able to start interviewing both the son and the father again they were both at the home they were both brought down here and the and the um, interrogations began um, through interrogating the individuals the uh our detectives had enough uh, based on what they said there was enough information there to get a warrant signed by a judge tonight again to charge christopher with capital murder and ramon with uh, abuse of a corpse Again, there will be more charges pending. This is what we have right now. I'll answer any questions. Uh, due to the capital murder for the son and then abuse of the corpse charge to the dad, does that mean that you guys believe the son killed them and then the dad Absolutely. helped hide the bodies? Yes, yes. And um, so I want to touch base on something real quick. The, since the release of the video that we set, that we put out on the 28th, uh, there has been, internet has blown up with, um, people sending tips and people just sending misinformation. There's a lot of misinformation out there. These two individuals are to, are the only sus suspects that we were looking for. They, they were arrested. There were many names being thrown around on the internet. Uh, those people had nothing to do with this. We, we vetted them and, and everything. They, they didn't have anything to do with these murders. So the individual, again, Christopher, uh, we believe committed the murders of, of Matthew and Savannah and then Ramon uh, helped can you say why? Um, it, it appears to be a narcotics, a narcotic related deal that, that went bad. Do we know the connection between this father and son and Matthew and Savannah or the uh, connection to the apartment complex? So there's no apparent connection to the apartment complex. It's just a place where they want to go dump, uh, dispose, or hide the vehicle with the bodies in it. And it appears that um, the, it was a drug deal. So there was like a drug connection to the, uh, the suspect and the two victims. When you say abuse of a corpse, can you talk about that a little bit? Was there any mutilation, or is that? Is it's just when you um, hide, hiding the body, moving the body after after uh, discovering that and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. When did you keep them? What exactly? So uh, the the um, December twenty first, which is a Thursday, just before midnight, is when the actual murders took place. Uh, on that. Mm -hmm. And is, are they going to be charged for the baby? Because in the state of Texas, technically they could. Right, so the, um, like I said, there's going to be possible charges pending, more, more charges pending. Our detectives are going to talk with the Bear County DA to determine if they're going to be any charges facing, uh, they're going to be facing any charges related to the unborn baby. And do we know if she was dilated at all? If, or if I didn't have that information from the medical examiners. I know that she was scheduled to be induced uh, and she didn't make her appointment, which is why the, the family went to the police to make the, to file the missing persons report. Did he say where, where exactly they killed her? I don't have exactly the location. We just know that they were killed from a, at a different location and then taken to that the apartment complex to uh, to dispose of the to dispose of the vehicle and the, the bodies. I know there were some Spanish questions. I want to talk about real quick. Sí, podría darnos un resumen pequeño para la audiencia hispana de de estas personas que presentó. No, no se pregunta. Nada una pregunta. Si tienes preguntas particular. Sí, a quienes presentaron esta noche. Sí, esta noche. El primer señor que, que salió es Ramón Pre, Preciado, de 53 años, y el segundo es Christopher Preciado, de 19 años. Uh, Christopher Preciado um, um, es el que hizo el, los asesinatos de, los, de las víctimas, y el, su papá Ramón uh, ayudó en uh, esconder o tratar de esconder el carro y, los, y las víctimas. Las dos personas eran las que aparecían en el video de vigilancia sí. que presentaron la semana pasada. Sí. Uh -huh. 
¿Había un motivo para matarlos? Parece que, parece que había una uh, transacción de drogas que, que no fue, que fue mal. Que fue mal, la, transacción de, la uh, transacción de drogas fue mal y resultó en la muerte de las dos víctimas. Well, I mean, someone was buying and someone was selling, so it was a it was a drug. So, can someone be charged with these murders uh, through the accomplice theory or the multiple parties theory? Sorry, through who? Uh, Ramon, the dad, could he be charged with the murders as well through the accomplice theory? No, he was not. He was not there during the commission of the murders. He was there, kind of. I guess he was called afterwards to help dispose or help his son. Did he still have previous I'm sorry. Did he still have previous record? Uh, Christopher has no previous criminal history, and Ramon did have a small, uh, he had some, some prior criminal history. So, are you all done looking for suspects at this point? Yeah, we don't have any other suspects at all. And in that surveillance video, were they alive during that surveillance no. video? They were not alive. They were not. Okay. Last question, guys. Did Christopher kill them they moved the bodies to the car? Correct. Well, I mean, I don't know if you moved them into the vehicle. Um, the, they, the vehicle with the bodies in was driven to that apartment complex. It didn't happen at that apartment. So ultimately, who's going to make the decision on the final charges? Is that going to be the DA's office? Correct, yes. So uh, our, our detective, again, tonight are charging them with capital, uh, Christopher with capital murder and Ramon with uh, abuse of a corpse. They're, they are working on some other charges that they're going to uh, file. Uh, but regarding, I think, specifically the question that you had about the, the unborn baby, they're going to have a, a conversation with the DA to determine whether they can uh, charge or um, put the baby as another victim on this. So does SAP have any say whenever they talk to the DA's office? Absolutely, or? yeah. It's, it's a collaboration with our with our DA's office. Would you say SAPD is going to seek that they're charged for the unborn baby? Thing? Our detectives are going to do everything they can to, to bring justice to the family. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming out tonight.